continues to mourn the loss of these four people killed in a mass shooting over the weekend. 19 year old Delaney Erie, 20 year old Hayden Rabicki, 44 year old Melissa Parrott, and then 20 year old Shane Miller all killed. Three others were also shot but survived. Now, since the crime, we've been digging into the background of that suspect, Chase Garvey. Garvey died after police say that he turned his weapon on himself after committing the crime. He was a convicted felon who was on probation at the time of the mass shooting. And according to Kenton County Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders, he had already violated his probation and Sanders' office's office rather worked to get him back, back behind bars. So that led our team to dig a little bit deeper into the numbers of probation violations and crimes committed during them. So Allie Henner's been checking that out for us. Allie, I know you, you broke a lot of the story that we just talked about. You're gonna continue our coverage now, which find out. Right, so we've been looking to the into the recidivism rate. So that means the tendency for a criminal to recommit a crime after being convicted. So we looked into the state of Kentucky statistics as well as this the US statistics to see where Kentucky falls within those. And from what I found, according to the Kentucky Association of Counties, Kentucky is the seventh highest percentage of incarcerated individuals due to supervision violations, such as parole violations or probation violations. I spoke with a Kentucky senator today who has a long background in law enforcement. He actually started with the Florence Police Department. He's a former U.S. Marshal, and he's now been a senator for 16 years. And he says in many of these cases, the crime does not fit the punishment. I'm, I'm, I'm a tough on crime person. I've always been that way in the legislature. I'm a retired police officer. Um, for me, the question is justice. Is justice been served? According to the most recent data, 80,967 total offenders are supervised in the state of Kentucky. According to Kentucky DOC data, approximately 9,200 warrants for probation violations were issued in 2021 alone. In the case of Chase Garvey, the suspect who shot seven people, killing four in Florence on Saturday, was on probation during the shooting. We are not holding people accountable for their actions. What we're doing is we're making excuses for them all the time. According to an affidavit, a probation officer wrote to the courts addressing his concerns on Garvey's actions and violations of probation and was concerned for the safety of the community. But once he violated his probation and then he has a gun and he's a convicted felon, I mean, that's just unacceptable. Uh, a, to get a break once, sure, but to get a break two and three times, no. Senator Schickel says probation violation numbers fluctuate year to year, but generally in the last few years, the numbers have gone down. But the bad news is, is the types of crimes we're seeing um, are very um, disruptive type crimes to our society uh, with, and people are afraid. Kentucky's recidivism rate is 32.2% compared to the U.S. rate of 44%. Kentucky's recidivism rate for those on parole or probation is 52%, making Kentucky the seventh highest percentage of prisoners incarcerated due to supervision violations among all states. And that's according to the World Population Review. So what I like to focus on rather than recidivism is justice, because justice you can measure. If someone is kills someone or steals and, there's, and the community doesn't feel like there's justice, that's very real. Recidivism is harder to measure. Probationers have the right to a court hearing before revocation. They can challenge allegations with a lawyer's help, but judges can still use their discretion to order incarceration. And this is just one case, but these things, and the reason we're calling attention to it is because of the tragic uh, murders that happen. But every day people have things stolen from them, they're assaulted. Uh, and there's virtually no consequences. So I did reach out to the Division of Probation and Parole for the state of Kentucky, and they declined to actually speak with us. Senator Schickel says that Florence Police is actively investigating how exactly Chase Garvey, the suspect in that mass shooting, was able to get a hold of a gun as a convicted felon, and we will certainly, certainly keep you updated once we learn that information. For now, reporting live in Boone County, Allie Hennert, Fox 19 Now.
Allie, thanks for our full coverage on the story. You can visit our website, fox19.com. We have all of the information on the upcoming events for the victims and their families as well, and the latest on the investigation. You can also find it all on our Fox 19 Now mobile news app.